friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, myself Mudu. So my YouTube channel is Science Match Academy 2023. In this YouTube channel, you will get everything about class 10th math science. So tricky methods, old question papers will be solved, new question papers, new model papers will be solved. So everything will be get in only one channel. So please like my videos, share my videos and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and please press the bell icon. Any doubt is there, please comment in the comment box. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to solve Udpi district level paper 2023. February so for this one key answers from question number 1 to 24 that is first one is set of MCQ second set is one marks and the third set is uh, two marks questions now let us solve these questions in this video so the first question is if A and B are if A and B are any two positive integers then HCF of A comma B into LCM A comma B is equal to dash A plus B, A minus B, A into B and A divided by B. So we know the relation that H into L is equal to A into B. Product of HCF and LCM is equal to product of two numbers. Therefore the right answer is A into B. So here the option C A into B that is the right answer for the first question option C A into B. Then coming to the second question in the second question he asked the distance of the point P X comma Y from the origin. So point, point P the coordinates could be an X comma Y therefore the distance from the origin is in all now no other option no. First option A is the square root of x square plus y square. So for the second question, option A, square root of x square plus y square is the formula to calculate distance from the point and origin. Then coming to the second question, uh, sorry, third question, sin 65 degree is equal to dash. And the so sin 65 degree is equal to dash. Now let us uh, answer this question. So sin 65 degree in the question. So sin 65 degree can be written as sin 90 minus 25 in the question. Because sin 90 minus 25 is uh, 19 only 25 with other it is 65. So what is sin 90 minus theta? Sin 90 minus theta is cos theta. So what is the value of theta is 25. Therefore, the value of sin 65 degree is equal to cos 25 degree. Therefore, the answer for the third question is that is option C cos 25 degree. So, option C cos 25 degree. Now, let us move for the fourth question. So, in the fourth question, the base radius and height of a right circular cylinder and a right circular cone are equal. And if the volume of the cylinder is 360 cc, then the volume of the cone is. So, onion kutidane. So, fourth question ali, pi r square h kutidane. That is volume of the cylinder which is equal to 360 cc in the kutidane. Namik beko volume of cylinder, uh, volume of cone beko. We know the relation between, uh, we know the formula for volume of the cone. V is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h. So V is equal to volume of cone is equal to 1 by 3 into what is pi r square h? No deal. It is 360 cc. 3 ones are 3 ones are 3. 3 twos are 6 0. Therefore volume of cone is equal to 120 cc. So the right answer is 120 cc. Agadre e nala ka option ali 120 cc option a then no that is the right answer. Option A, 120 cc. Now let us move for the fifth question. So the fifth question is, if the pair of equation A1x plus B1y plus C1 is equal to 0, A2x plus B2y plus C2 is equal to 0 are intersecting line, then the correct relation among the following is. This intersecting and the 
ಸೊ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೈಂಡಿಗೆ ಬರಬೇಕು ಎ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಟು ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಬಿ ಟು ಸೊ ಈ ನಾಲ್ಕರಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಡಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಎ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಟು ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಬಿ ಟು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಡಿ ಎ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಟು ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಬಿ ಟು ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ that is uh, if p of a is equal to 2 by 3 then p of a bar is dash idu possible idu not possible so namige relation gottide p of a plus p of a bar which is equal to 1 namige ig bekagirodu p of so now we need p of a bar p of a bar is equal to 1 you bring this side it will become minus p of a so p of a bar is equal to 1 minus p of a is given as 2 by 3 so p of a bar is equal to so lcm is 3 3 ones are 3 minus 2 so 3 minus 2 is lcm is 3 3 ones are 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 is 1 by 3 so p of a bar is equal to 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 and really then only option a option a is 1 by 3 so like this we have to solve this one so for sixth question option a which is equal to 1 by 3 now let us move for question number 7 in the question number 7 in a circle the angle between tangent and the radius at the point of contact is 180 90 60 30 the right answer is option b 90 degree angst for seventh one option b 90 degree angle between angle between tangent and the radius at the point of contact is always 90 degree so now let us move for the eighth and the last question of mcq that is if x comma y comma 12 comma y are in ap the value of x and y are respectively equal to dash and the kedi thane so now let us answer this question so yen kutti thane x comma y comma or sorry x comma phi comma 12 comma y and the kutti thane so idu a pin ali dhe anthe edi yane now let us find out what is the value of uh, uh, that is x and y so x plus y no, x and y and the kedi thane so let us find out the value of x and y so you call this as a1 this one a2 idu na a3 idu a4 and the kari ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೊಂದು ಇಂಟ್ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಅಂದರೆ ಎ ಪಿ ಇದು ಎ ಪಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ಅಂದಮೇಲೆ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ಗಳ ನಡುವೆ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸು ಸೇಮ್ ಇರಬೇಕು ಇದು ಎ ಟು ಇದು ಎ ತ್ರೀ ಇವೆರಡರ ನಡುವೆ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಷ್ಟಿದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎ ತ್ರೀ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಬಂತು ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಇವರಿಬ್ಬರು ನಡುವೆ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಇವರಿಬ್ಬರು ನಡುವೆ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಇರಬೇಕು ಈಗ ಇವರಿಬ್ಬರು ನಡುವೆ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಎ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಎ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಫೈವ್ ಬರಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಎ ಟು ಸಾರಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಬರಬೇಕು ಎ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಬರಬೇಕು ಎ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಬಂದರೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಸಾರಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಬಂದರೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಆಯಿತು ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಎ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಈ ಮೈನಸ್ನ ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಎ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಎ ಒನ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಯಾವುದು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಡಿಡಿದ್ರೆ ಸಾಕು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರೋ ಆಪ್ಷನಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಟೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೊ ನಮಗೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಅಂತ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಏನಾಗಿರಬೇಕು ವೈ ವೈ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಆಗಿರಬೇಕು ಇನ್ನು ಮುಂದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಮಾಡೋ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆಯೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಒಂದು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯಿತು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ದೆನ್ ವೈ ಈಸ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೊ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಸೊ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಂಪ್
two twos are two fours are. then two ones are two twos are. then two six are. then two threes are. so 96 can be written as one two three four five two to the power of five into three so two and three are prime numbers therefore 96 can be written as the product of five numbers a uh, prime numbers as two to the power of five into three now let us move for the 10th question. In the 10th question, find the 10th term of the sequence an is equal to 2n minus 5. So an is given as 2n minus 5. Now let us find out the 10th term. So where n comes there you substitute 10. a n and 10 is equal to 2 into n and 10 minus 5. So a 10 is equal to 2 tens are 20 minus 5. So therefore, 10th term of an AP is 20 minus 5 is 15. So A10 is equal to A10 is equal to 15. So like this, we have to find out the 10th term of an AP. Now let us move for the 11th question. The 11th question is find the coordinates of the midpoints of the line segment joining the points. 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 7 so they have given 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 7 so here it is x1 y1 x2 y2 so we want midpoint so xp x comma y is equal to x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2 so p x comma y is equal to x1 and red 2 x2 and 4 2 plus 4 divided by 2 comma 3 plus 7 divided by 2 so x2 is uh, y1 is 3 y2 is 7 so that is equal to 2 plus 4 is 6 by 2 3 plus 7 is 10 by 2 so therefore the coordinate of the point p is 2 1s are 2 3s are 2 1s are 2 5s are that is 3 comma 5 so like this we have to find out the coordinates of the midpoint now let us uh, move for the next question that is question number 12 in the question number 12 he asked find the value of tan 45 minus cot 45 on the KDN. so let us answer this question tan 45 degree minus cot 45 degree so tan 45 is 1 and cot 45 is also 1. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, for 12th question, the answer is 0. Next, coming to the 13th question. Write the degree of the polynomial P of x is equal to 4x cube plus 5x square minus 6x plus 8. So, highest degree any that 3 is that. Therefore, for 13th question, degree of the polynomial is equal to 3 is the answer. Next, let us move for the 14th question. So, the 14th question is, write the formula to calculate the curved surface area of the frustum of a cone. So, curved surface area. So, CSA is equal to pi L into R1 plus R2. So, this is the formula to calculate CSA of frustum of cone. Then, coming to the 15th question, in the 15th question, he asked state basic proportionality theorem. So now let us write our state tails theorem. So what is the theorem? A straight line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, one side of a triangle, it divides other two sides it divides other two sides proportionally it divides other two sides proportionally so this is the statement for theorem Thales theorem now let us move for the 16th question and the last question of one marks that is it told to calculate that is write the formula write the formula to find the area of the sector when if angle at the center is theta degree 
so we have to write the area of a sector so area of a sector a is equal to theta by 360 into pi r square so this is the formula to calculate area of sector so successfully we have completed all the eight questions related to one marks now let us move for two marks question that is from the question number 17 the 17th question of two marks is find the sum of the first 12 terms of an ap uh, 2 comma 5 comma 8 by using formula so now let us answer this one 2 comma 5 comma 8 is given a is equal to 2 5 minus 2 is 3 8 minus 5 is 3 common difference is 3 he told to calculate sum of 12 terms n is equal to 12 and s 12 is equal to question mark so formula Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Yes, n and 12 is equal to n means 12 by 2 into 2a and 2 plus 12 minus 1 into d and 3. So yes, 12 is equal to 2 ones are 2 six are 2 twos are 4 plus 11 into 3. So S12 yes, is equal to so 6 into 4 plus 11 3 is a 33. So S12 yes, is equal to 6 into 33 plus 4 is 37. So S yes, therefore S12 yes, is equal to 6 7 is a 42, 6 3 is a 18 plus 4 22. Therefore the sum of 12 terms of an AP is 222. Now let us move for the 18th question. So in the 18th question, prove that root 3 minus 2 is an irrational number. So now first sentence. So let us assume that, let us assume that root 3 minus 2 is rational. Let us assume that root 3 minus 2 is rational. So root 3 minus 2 is equal to P by Q where P and Q are co-prime. Where P and Q are co-prime. So root 3 minus 2 is equal to P by Q. So next step. Root 3 is equal to P by Q. You shift minus 2 it will become plus 2 root 3 is equal to q is the lcm p plus q into 2 will become 2q so now p plus p plus 2q by q is rational p plus 2q by q is rational therefore root 3 therefore root 3 is rational because if it is rational, if it is equal to this one, that is also rational. But our assumption is wrong. But our assumption is wrong. But our assumption is wrong. Root 3 is not rational. Root 3 is not rational. So therefore, root 3 minus 2 is irrational so like this we have to answer for 18th question now let us move for the 19th question so the 19th question is that is solve x minus 2y is equal to 2 and x plus 2y is equal to 6 now let us solve this question x minus 2y is equal to 2 equation 1 x plus 2y is equal to 6 equation 2 here minus 2y is there here plus 2y is there therefore add equation 1 and 2 so x minus 2y is equal to 2 x plus 2y is equal to 6 plus 2y minus 2y cancel I to you know what is the 1x plus 1x is 2x 6 plus 2 is 8 x is equal to 8 by 2 x is equal to 2 ones are 2 fours are so the value of x is 4. After getting the value of x, find the value of y. 
x plus 2y is equal to 6. I have taken equation 2. So I have taken equation number 2. So now substitute the value of x in equation 2. x under 4 plus 2y is equal to 6. 2y is equal to 6 minus 4. So 2y is equal to 2. y is equal to. So 2y is equal to 2. y is equal to 2 ones are 2 ones. Are. So y is equal to 1. So like this we have to find the value of x and y. Next coming to the 20th question. Solve the quadratic equation x square plus x minus 2 is equal to 0 by formula method or find the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation. So now in, uh, let us answer both the questions. So the first that is 20th first question is so solve by using quadratic formula x square plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. So compared to the standard form a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0. a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, c is equal to minus 2. x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of b square and 1 square minus 4 into a and 1 c and minus 2 divided by 2 into a and 1. So x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square and 1 minus into minus will become plus 4, 4 ones are 4, 4 twos are 8 divided by 2 ones are 2. x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 9 divided by 2. So x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 9 is 3 divided by 2. Now for value of x we have to give for, for plus 3 and minus 3. So by giving plus 3 and minus 3 let us find the value. So x is equal to minus 1. Now I will give plus 3 divided by 2 x is equal to minus 1. Now I will give minus 3 divided by 2. So x is equal to minus 1 plus 3 is 2 by 2. x is equal to minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 by 2. 2 ones are 2 ones are. x is equal to 1. Or 2 ones are 2 twos are. x is equal to minus 2. So like this we have to find the value of x and y. In, in that one only one internal choice question is there. Now let us answer that internal choice question. That is uh, find the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation 2x square minus 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. So now let us find the nature of the roots. So the given equation quadratic equation is 2x square minus 3x plus 5 which is equal to 0 compared to the standard form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, a is equal to 2, b is equal to minus 3, c is equal to 5. So delta is equal to b square minus 4ac. Delta is equal to b square and minus 3 whole square minus 4 into a and 2 c and 5. So delta is equal to minus 3 whole square become 9 minus 4 2 is 8, 8 5 is 40. So delta is equal to 9 minus 40 is minus 31. So here delta is lesser than 0 because minus 31. Therefore the roots are therefore the roots are imaginary or the roots are not real. They are not real roots. Like this we have to find out the nature of the roots. Next coming to the next question that is uh, 21st. Find the zeros of the polynomial p of x is equal to x square plus 7x plus 12. So now let us answer this question. So p of x, this is a 21st question. p of x is equal to x square plus 7x plus 12. So p of x is equal to 0. 0 is equal to x square plus 7x plus 12. So if uh, if you multiply any two number, you have to get 12. If you add or subtract, you have to get 7. 4 threes are x square plus 4x plus 3x plus 12. 
is equal to 0, these two one group and these two one group. So x common, what is the remaining? x plus 4 plus 3 common, what is the remaining? x plus 4 which is equal to 0. So what is the common to both? x plus 4. What is the remaining? x plus 3 which is equal to 0. x plus 4 is equal to 0. x is equal to minus 4. x plus 3 is equal to 0. x is equal to plus 3 become minus 3. Therefore, the zeros of the polynomial is x is equal to uh, zeros of the polynomials are minus 4 and minus 3. So like this we have to find out. Next coming to the 22nd question that is draw two tangent from a from a point 9 centimeter away from the center of the circle of radius 4 centimeter. Now let us draw the tangent to the given data. First let us draw a circle of radius circle of radius 4 centimeter. So 4 centimeter radius sirvantha on the circle na first to draw point. So let us draw a circle of radius 4 centimeter. So we have drawn a circle of radius uh, that is equal to 4 centimeter. Now we have to from the center there is a point which called which is called as external point it is 9 centimeter away from the center center in the 9 centimeter udurdal on point there that is p point which is called as external point so center of the circle is denoted by o and p is an external point now you keep the compass needle at o take more than half and you draw one arc at the top and one arc at the bottom with the same uh, measurement keep the compass needle at P and you cut both the arcs and where the two arcs are intersecting there from there you join the line you draw one line now both the lines are intersecting at a point M now take the compass keep the compass needle at M and you adjust to P the comp the pencil should touch both P and O so like that we have to draw one circle it, it should draw one circle like this now you see where the two circle touch each other intersect each other that point you call it as A and another point you call it as B now join A to P then join b to p a to p and b to p so now here a p is equal to b p distance between center and external point is 9 centimeter it is a circle of radius 4 centimeter so like this we have to draw a tangent this AP and BP are the tangents and those two tangents are equal. So like this we have to answer for this question. Now let us move for 23rd question. So the 23rd question is So 23rd question is in the given figure in the given figure DE is parallel to AB AD is equal to 6 cm CD is equal to 4 cm BC is equal to 15 centimeter. Now we have to find out the what is the value of BE. So now let us answer this question. Now. So this is the triangle they have given. So ABC is a triangle. They have given and DE is parallel to AB. They have given CD as 4 centimeter. AD as 6 centimeter. Then BC they have given as 15 centimeter. We have to find out the value of BE. We don't know what is BE. Now let us find the value of BE. So AC is So AC will become uh, 4 plus 6 or so 10 centimeter. From year to year it is 6. From year to year it is 4. 6 plus 4, 10 centimeter. Now we have to find BE. So B B kodra. So A D by A B A D divided by so not A B A C A D divided by A C 
is equal to BE divided by BC. BE divided by BC. So what is the value of AD? It is 4. Uh, sorry, 6. AD is 6. Divided by AC is 10. Is equal to BE. We don't know. Divided by BC is 15. So now BE is equal to 6 into 15. You multiply 15 here. Divided by 10. So 5 3 is a 5 2 is a. 2 1 is a 2 3 is a. So BE is equal to 3 3 is a become 9. So the measurement of BE is equal to 9 centimeter. In that one only, in 24th only, one more internal choice question is there. Triangle ABC, triangle DEF are similar and their areas are 64 and 100 respectively. Uh, 64 centimeter square and 100 centimeter square. If EF is equal to 12, then find the measure of BC. So now let us find out it. So according to the theorem, area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle DEF is equal to ABC nally BC square na thakondra DEF nally EF square because BC and EF are corresponding sides. So area of triangle is given as 64 and area of DEF is given as 100 is equal to BC square divided by EF is given as 12 square. Now remove the square here and you put square root. So BC by 12 is equal to square root of 64 divided by square root of 100. So BC by 12 is equal to square root of 64 is 8 square root of 100 is 100 is 10. So now you cancel 2 4 za 2 5 za. Now BC is equal to 4 into you multiply 12 to here 4 into 12 divided by 5. So BC is equal to 12 4 za 48 divided by 5. So BC is equal to 5 9 za 45. So 3 remainder point it will become 30 5 6 za 30. Therefore the measurement of BC is 9.6 centimeter. So like this we have to find out the length of BC. Now in this paper uh, to, regarding 2 marks there will be a last question of 2 marks that is there are 500 wrist watches, watches in a box out of these 50 wrist watches are found defective one which is drawn randomly from the box. Find the probability that wrist watch chosen is a defective watch. So defective watch is 50 and 30. Total low 500 uh, watches only. 50 wrist watches are defective and 30 are found defective. Now we have to find out probability of that the wrist watch chosen is a defective watch and 30. So now let us find out it. So illi, according to question N of S total number of all possible outcomes is equal to 500. Total 500 watches are there. Out of 500, so N of A, defective is 50. Now we have to find out P of A. So P of A is equal to N of A divided by N of S. So P of A is equal to N of A is 50 and N of S is 500. So 50 ones are 50 tens are. Therefore P of A is equal to 1 divided by 10. So 1 by 10 is the probability. And the pretty hat to watch only one do watch would defective agirate. So this is the meaning of 1 by 10. So successfully we have completed all the questions uh, that is related to MCQ 1 marks and 2 marks. Remaining 3, 4 and 5 marks questions will be solved in the next video. So thank you for watching my YouTube channel.